This is the story of Johnny Cool. It tells the tale of his life. They say Johnny was meant to be and content to be mixed up in sorrow and strife. He lived by the gun and by the knife. Johnny Cool, Johnny Cool. He lived by the gun and by the knife. Johnny Cool, Johnny Cool. If you were friendly to Johnny Cool, you were just playing the fool. They say Johnny was friend to none, friend to only one. He went by this simple rule. That his only friend was Johnny Cool. Johnny Cool, Johnny Cool. Yes, his only friend was Johnny Cool. Johnny Cool, Johnny Cool. Because he thought life had abused him, he went on a murderous fling. But he didn't know that they used him like any old puppet. On a string, Johnny Cool. Love never mattered to Johnny Cool. Each dull day him was the same. Till one day blinked her eyes at him, sighed some sighs at him. His icy heart turned to flame, and Johnny was never quite the same. Johnny Cool. Johnny Cool. Johnny Cool. Avevo una nuova recluta. Eh, questo è Salvatore Giuliano, un re della montagna. E se sei tua madre se ti vedesse con questa metragliatrice? Quella donna? Tua madre era? Un meschinetta. Lo stesso un po' stare qua. Che sto a un posto con un piccerito. Fanno cerca in mezzo a queste montagne. Walter, che facite qua? Battiamo per la nostra gente contro gli nemici della nostra patria. Ma cosa ti Giordano. Ti faccio portare alla tua paese, alla tua famiglia. Chi sta mia famiglia ora? Va bene, Giordano. Un altro uomo lo potremmo usare. Everybody say so. He's to be best man of the wedding. Everybody else knows he'll be here. Then the police ought to know it, too. They do. All the way up to the chief of police, who gets paid more from Giordano than he does from the government. A million lira reward, and the man enjoys a wedding feast. Uh, enjoyment is only for the living. 
man who tried to collect that reward wouldn't live an hour. Giordano's like a king here, beloved by all his subjects. Why not? He steal from the rich and uh, he give to the poor. You really believe that? Look at the feast he prepares for them. They'll remember this day and talk about it for years. All this land, they'll remember for a lifetime and for generations after. Of course, it's Giordano. The people own the land. Make it a robin for you. with the chief of police. You got a picture of both of them. Not as he you're crazy. Don Giordano, che lo disturbo, ma ci voglio presentare un grande giornalista americano che vuole una intervista. Ah. Welcome to Montepazia, signor Anderson. I'm honored to have you here. How did you know my name? I tell you what you had for breakfast. Or name of hotel chambermaid, if you like. He said you need one. Qui. Mr. Giordano, do you mind if I... Uh... No, you go ahead. Use your machine. It's okay. Thank you. I didn't know that uh, you spoke English so well. You American GIs in war, I learned from them. In Sicily, always like that. From each invader, we take something. My mother could sing in Greek, French, always invaded. My grandfather, he could sing the songs of the Arabs and Moors. All of them dead now. From Germans, we get this. Ow. How did you get it? Same like GIs. Kill Germans. You're saying that you fought with the Americans against the Germans? No. In war, you fight for yourself, for your own people. Nobody else. But the war is over. As long as people are hungry, there will be war. Compare Don Giordano, ma va fare l'onore da ballare la prima danza con me moglieri. Scusate. I have high honor, a first dance with bride. Bravo. Army troops in helicopters. Listen, you can hear them. Go 
Questo è Giordano. Torna la morto. Tirano. This afternoon, local time, a special task force of government troops cornered and killed the legendary Sicilian bandit chieftain, Salvatore Giordano. In order to overcome any superstitions the peasants might have about his mortality, Giordano's riddled body and that of his chief lieutenant are being displayed in the mountain villages of this primitive area to prove conclusively to his own people that Salvatore Giordano is, in fact, dead. Any problems? Everything went as you planned. Captain Virgil, you've done your job well. I will see you are promoted to Major. Great Giordano, eh? Wild king of the hills. Non capisco. Oh, I'm Johnny Collini. Collini? Eh? Hey? Don Giovanni d'America. We are in Rome safe. The way only a dead man could be safe. Morto. Eh? Hey? The world thinks Giordano is dead. We left a man in your place that looks very much, well, uh, enough like you. Especially when he has very little face left. The only way I can get you out of the hands of the army. Why? Because you're on a Maui. I, I have a particular use for your kind of violence. Tomorrow they bury you, Giordano. <laughs> there are not very many men who can weep at their own funeral, eh? Sir! Don't you... Don't you say thanks for saving your life? You say how much you want and I pay you. What? In Sicilia, I have... In Sicilia, not... you have nothing! You're dead. Morto! What do they say in your village when they speak of Collini? That he's like a king in America. A king of murderers. <laughs> no more. No more. For over a year now, I've been in Rome. Do you know what deported means? See. Si. What would you do if one of your men informed to the police? That could not be. But if it did happen? That man would be found and killed if it took a whole lifetime. And the sons had to do it after. I have many children. I do not know the names of most of them or what happened to them. But I have no son I would show as my son. What do you want of me? Here you will live. And live well.
While you were here, you'll go through a process of polishing designed to make you civilized. A little, not too much. On the surface, not inside. When I decide you're ready, you'll do a job for me, a job no other man could do. I want you to go to those who betrayed me, take back what they stole to make them dead. Do that what is mine is yours. You will be my son. I am no son of Colini. You disgraced us in America. <laughs> there is a streak of decency in you. You've got to get rid of that streak. They teach you to murder in Chicago, and then they send you back to us. And you! Who taught you to murder? I am no criminal. I never murder for money. All I have done, I have done for my people. Yes, I'm a criminal, I know it. I'm not kind, I know that. I'm not even a generous man. I go to church and lie to God. What's mine is mine because I'm selfish, mean, and cruel. There's no one I could point to and say, this is the reason why Colini is a murderer, but you, you have the people. Poor people. Mr. Giordano, you're a liar to yourself. The people are poor people. Aren't you weary of taking vows? You ate well, you stolen everything you wanted. When your belly was full, you gave the rest away. <laughs> I know you, my young friend. I am no friend of yours. You will be. You have no other choice. I'll put you in the streets, you'll be dead within the hour. Or you'll do the job I picked for you, and you'll become rich. More money and wealth than a peasant could dream. Tell me a leader. You will not understand a number that big. But you'll learn. Take you a long time, but I will teach you. I'll teach you America. The clothes, how to walk, how to act. Who has the money, where it comes from, which are the important names, and where their power lies. And when I've finished, you'll be one of the three men in the world who knows it all. This I'll teach you. But in the end, what will count is what is here. In your hills, you have been a glorious success. We'll now see what you do with the mountain, America. You prove you can be the son of Kalidi. In a few years when I have gone, you will inherit my kingdom. Now, sir, I'll have the drink sent over. Follow me, please. Make it half sour. Yes, sir. What do you say we have another drink? It's empty. No, nothing for me, thank you, Adrian. And I think you've had enough. That's it. Do I know you? No. Then what are you looking at? I'm looking for the action. I hear you know where it is. I'm afraid you got the wrong impression. I'm in guided missiles myself. And my friend is in shopping centers. Yeah, and I recognize the bartender. He's Al Capone's sister. George! George, give me a GMB on the rocks. Make it a go. I'm sorry, Mr. Dennis. I told you, no more service this evening. Oh, come on. What are you playing with, kids? Look, Buster. You heard the man blow. I beg your pardon? I said blow. Uh -oh. Let's get out of here, shall we? This place is rapidly deteriorating. Miss, may I have a check, please? You go ahead, Adrian. I'll call you tomorrow. All right, that's the way you want it. 
You sure? Sure. Well, how about it? Look, I don't know you. My name's Kalini. Johnny Kalini. You any relation? Why? Because if you're using the name, and you're not, you're puss for brains. You better get out of here while you still can. Okay, have one on me. It'll probably be your last. I hope all of that wasn't because of something Adrian might have said. Adrian? You mean the beard? No. Are you always so vicious? Are you a fight fan? Why do you say that? You look like you enjoyed watching it. Well, it was something to see. My name's Dare Guinness. Won't you tell me your name? Sure. Johnny Collini. Johnny Collini was that man they had on television during the crime investigations. The one they called Johnny Cool. There's a lot of Collinis. Your name really, Johnny Collini? We got a bad start. Where are you from? Chicago? I've been there. You know anyone? A few people. Russ, Frank, Vito. What do you know in Florida? Steinman boys. You want more names? You know mine? Jerry March. That's right. Oh, you make quite an impression. My friends hurt pretty bad. You hurt a man's friend, you hurt the man. But that's all country talk. <laughs> I went to school in Rome. Two years. About the action. I'll let you know where do I get in touch. I'm out at the track. I'm out there every day. You're not waiting to see how your friend is. Well, there's nothing I can do for him. I'm not a doctor. You don't really care if you know me or not, do you? Honey, I'm not buying. You couldn't. Then it's easy. Just forget it. Take me to Chili's. After I heard Collini, I called right away. There were hotel records in Vegas and Miami, but nobody knew him. Nobody. He's tough, he's got money. He knows all kinds of things he shouldn't. Look, Mr. Santangelo, you give me the green light and I'll put him where the fish will eat him. You! You, Mr. Crumline, you're so big in your mouth, hmm? A man comes into a bar, makes trouble. Don't you know enough to walk away? What are you gonna learn? Nothing happens in public. Look, Mr. Santangelo. Stop with the Mr. Santangelo. When things are running smooth, it's Vince. And when it's a little trouble, it's Mr. Santangelo. If you go to the movies, we want to talk. Ten times. Number six, ten times. Hi. Well, it can't be a coincidence. No. I heard you say that you were going to be here. I wanted you to know that I've thought it over. And you can buy me a drink. Why not? Right over here. We don't really have to have a drink if you want to watch the race. What do you have? I don't know anything, whatever you're having. Whiskey and water, too. That was the $100 window. Yes. What was? Number six. Are you that rich or are you just that sure of yourself? You want to try for both? He's at the bar with a sharp looking bro. He must have a couple of thousand on the six horse. Now you stay with him. Find out who she is. I'm 27. 
I grew up in Scarsdale with all the advantages. Braces, dancing school, riding lessons, the whole bit. I've been divorced for about a year from a boy who grew up the same way. He... Well, you've seen Adrian. Yes. So what do you do for kicks now? There haven't been many. Until last night. I want to know you. All men look like men, but so few really are. What kind of work do you do? I'm a missionary. You want a mission now? Why all the questions? Are you a gambler? Well, what do you do? I do my best. Who got it? Six us went all by himself. Six? That's your horse. Let's get out of here. I can cash these in tomorrow. Bartender, it's been a lucky day. A hundred bucks? Hey, what did the six horse pay? It's not up yet. All I know, he was ten to one and I didn't have him. Give me a double martini. Here, start with this, pal. I gotta see a man about a horse. Hello, Jerry. I checked all over. In Vegas, there was a Johnny Collini, registered at the Sands. He calls himself Johnny Cool. The name made their ears go up. Yeah, big tipper. A lot of money, all cash. He troubled nobody. They said they could use a million like him. He's traveled all over, left his mark. Everybody remembers him, but nobody knows him. That fettuccine is the wildest I've had in a long time. How about the scongili marinara? Sicily. That's where you're from, isn't it? Good night, dear. Johnny Cool. That's what they ought to call you. Late date? <sighs> no. It's probably Adrian. Come on in. Hello? Well, yes, he is. It's for you. Hello? Yeah. Now? Sure. We're in a garage. North side, entrance 18. Okay, I'll be there. How would anyone know you'd be here? I don't know. Do you? Shall I wait? Forget it. You clean? Yeah. Rules of the house. Have to check you, okay? Okay. Okay, go in. All right. Here we go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, Joe. 200 line. 300 line. Glad you could make it. You fellas operate in style. This is a permanent game. We own this garage and the hotel above it. Come to the table? Game is open crap. Let's go, guys. Okay. Better book. Bring it in your spot. That's not Same good shooter. Stay at that Here we go. Tennis seven. Tennis seven. Seven, another winner. Two hundred line. Three hundred line. Three hundred. He's covered here. Two hundred here with him. Two hundred here with him. Two hundred. 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 Two hundred.
You dare, Guinness? Yes. What's wrong? It's about Johnny Collini. You may know him as Johnny Cool. Could we come in, please? Yes, of course. Is he in some kind of trouble? He sure is, lady. How well do you know him? Barely at all. I only met him yesterday. What did he tell you about himself? Not much, really. Where's he from? Uh, Italy, I think. What makes you think that? Well, we went to a little Sicilian place and... He, he told said... you he was from Sicily? Well, no, not exactly. Miss Guinness, if you know something, you're not telling us. I don't. What's he doing in New York? I don't know. Suppose I tell you. Save your breath. Don't you see he's got her lined up, too? What do you mean? That's right. That's what he does. Besides girls, he pushes dope. I don't believe that. You better get in here for a while. Why should I? Well, you don't tell us anything, and we don't tell you anything. Now go on, get in there. Come on, get in there. Ah, uh, we got a new shooter. Put your best on. What's he say? Five hundred long. Five hundred dollars. I got twenty-five hundred. Says he's right. Yeah, twenty-five hundred. Says he's right. Coming. All bets are down. Shoot. Let's go, Dice. One time, baby. Eight. The point is eight. Boy, let's make that five hundred more. Okay, George. Okay, okay, now let's go, Dice. You can do it. Seven. You lose. Well, that taps me out. Yeah, that taps us out. Say, you're pretty lucky, boy. A uh, new shooter. The dice are mine. Next shooter. Educated. Dice are yours if you want them. Yeah. What's up, Melts? Dice are mine. Ain't that terrific? My dice. Okay, we got a new shooter coming out. What do you want? Two, he's wrong. Thousand, he's right. Come in. And uh, five for me. Oh, okay. Don't. Allow me. Seven, a winner. Sure, we've been perfect gentlemen as cops go. Now, another thing, strictly legit, she works for some designing house. There's eight checks here made out to her from this guy, Guinness. All uncashed. Alimony, I guess. Are you sure you're getting everything? I don't know. She could be holding out. Muscle her and find out. How much muscle? I don't care. Leave us something to remember you by. It'll be a pleasure. Says we should leave her something to remember us by. All right, Miss Guinness, you can come out now. Miss Guinness? You needn't be afraid. We're not going to hurt you. Seven, a winner. Seven. You're a good mechanic. I enjoy watching you work. I got 8,000 left. Want it? Why not? I figure educated's going to stay lucky. Now we swing. Eleven. We're winner, eleven. Amazing. Yeah, ain't it? How much do you want? Scared money never made money. You want the sixteen? Nothing. I'm sending this one out. Yeah, well, save a dance for me, pretty boy. How about it, Johnny? You got your sister book busy tonight? Yeah, fix it up. We'll each owe you two bits. <laughs> Now we're going to play a different game. Come on. Help him out. All right, let's finish the game. I got a little left over. Six thousand. Only this time, I'm betting the shooter wins. Open craps like you said, I can bet win or lose, right? Pick them up. You better know what you're doing, friend. Not only what, but to who. When you asked me names, you didn't ask me New York. Well, I'll give you a name. Don Vincenzo. Or do you call him Mr. San Angelo? Shoot, little man. And stay lucky, yeah?
You never can tell what the dice are gonna do. Roll two fives back to back. You can't roll two fives back to back. Gun or no gun. You're wrong, Mr. March. Right now, at this moment, but the only number I can't roll is one. I'll work on it. Cover me! Ten, two fives. Five, five, nice conventional start. Ten, a winner. Two, five. My, you are talented. The 12 rides. Come on, Crumline, get a piece of the action. Something tells me to stay with him. Seven, a winner. Monotonous. Anytime you get bored, we can quit, Mr. Kalini. Well, Educated hasn't given us a full show yet. One roll and we call it a night. 24,000, that's what's lying there. Let's see an 11. You wouldn't settle for a, for a seven, would you? No, baby. Eleven. You're eleven. Winner. Hey, guys, you know, you, you win some, you lose some, huh? Crap, it's a loser. did this to you? Was it because of me? I didn't know anything to tell them. <laughs> See you.
in the morning. I'll wait for your call, sir. Good night. Good night, sir. Hey, Mac, you forgot something at the girl's apartment. What girl? Either you can handle your own people or you can't. The boy heard him, Vince. Well, I'll take care of it. Don't come to me. What's so important? A boy comes here and uses a name, and uses a gun at a crap table. The gun he used was a Beretta, and he called you Don Vincenti. Now, here in the papers where they say mutilated, the men were marked, like in the old country when somebody took revenge for rape. Rape? Well, I, I sent him to this girl he was with to see what they could find out. Yeah, and they make tricks with her, and that's why the boy marked her. No, 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 no. He, he couldn't have done it, Vince. He didn't know who they were, he didn't know where they were. He couldn't be in two places at once. Now, Vince, that's what worries me. How do we know how many people this Collini has with him? Don't use that name. There's only one Johnny Collini, and that's an old man in Rome. Vince, I never turn my back on instinct. Now, what if Cool sent him? You know how he feels about things, I feels about you. We better have a meeting, I'm telling you. No, I'm telling you. You bring this boy to me. That's what he wants, I'm sure. Very nice. That's very nice. So we give him what he wants. You don't look like him. How are you related? I'm not. You're his man. I'm no one's man. I'm Johnny Collini. You want in? I already am. You're a stranger to it. Not anymore. Not after the last few days. Very violent. He chose you well. All right. We'll use you. We'll do us all some good. I'm not here for a job. You're like we were in the beginning. We drink on it? I'm here to take it all. All of what? I thought you knew something. You want names, places? How about I give you the locations in Turkey or Mexico where it's grown? Or the name of the importer in Marseille? And which of his ships brings it in? The pharmaceutical houses in Milano that process it into H? Or if that's all too far away, how about the name of the wholesale jobber over in Jersey who handles over a ton of Benzedrine a month? You talk like a mystery story. Here we're legitimate business. Everything legal. I know. That's why I want the unissued stock in the six corporations, all of it, signed over to me. The New York contracting interests, the Vegas setup, the coast oil you can keep if you retire. And if I don't? Then I take that too. You won't get what you want by using violence with us. You got yours with a gun. Way back in the beginning? Yes. Then I'll get mine as you got yours. I'm giving you 24 hours to deliver the initial stock to the trust department of the Chase National Bank in my name. If I lift my hand, you die. Here, in this room right now. What difference does that make? You think I'm here alone? He's from Cool, isn't he? I'm in Rome, Italy. Yes, sir. 240041. Yes, sir. By tonight, we'll have a man here who will tell us for sure. Meantime, I want you to arrange to pick up the girl. But I told you she doesn't know anything. He cares for her, or he wouldn't have done what he did. Yeah. What about him? Oh, he'll be here for at least 24 hours. 
He promised. The men who did this to you are dead. I killed him with a knife I took from your kitchen. You. I'll tell you my real name, even though it won't mean anything to you. I'll tell you why I'm here and what I'm going to do. And after I've told you these things, I want you to come with me. Will you come? Right around the corner. How is she gonna open up if she already took the pills? Miss Guinness! Open up, Miss Guinness! You better use your pass key, you're just wasting time. things you told me. Johnny, what do you expect to do alone against all this? They'll kill you. No. I'm the one who'll do the killing. All over this country in the next 48 hours. And when I'm finished, they'll think they've been hit by an army. Everything depends on time now. You know what you have to do. I may never see you again. We'll be together by noon, tomorrow. Okay, drive at the airport. United Airlines, flight 819. That's your mainliner flight they're calling now, Mrs. Miller. Your husband's ticket will be ready for him when he arrives. Thank you. I tell you, you cannot afford to miss these bargains. We are net selling costs today. We are giving them away. We are overstock. I tell you, come down here and look. Take any freeway, but get down there. If you're cooking, stop cooking. If you're on the couch, get off that couch and come down and see these bargains. I won't be responsible if you get down here with no cars left. These are the bargains, I tell you. And you come down here and you deal with me. You will find that I will give you a... We don't need anything at all. No references, no credits, just an honest face. Bring your honest face right down here to the lot today. And now back to our movie. Very good, Mr. Holmes. Let me unplug you. Be a half hour the next spot, huh? Thank you. I'm sorry I've kept you waiting. We do these TV commercials, yes, and you really right. got to drive it in. It's not like something where you go out and just talk, you know. You got to sell these cars. And you'd be surprised how many people recognize me just from doing these TV commercials. They think I'm a TV star or something. But all I am is a used car salesman. Now, this is the car you have picked out. Is that right, Miss Goodman? Yes, that's May right. May I tell you, you are a very lucky girl. You will love this car and drive with the roof down. And have you ever driven to California before? Uh, yes, well, I know. You I... have, but then listen to me, because the California drivers here are just like maniacs. Look out for those sports cars. They come zooming by right through the right. You'll never even know they're there. Now, you have my personal check. Oh, yes. I sign yes, this, please. Yes, ma'am. If you would just sign right here, Miss Goodman. That's it. That makes it a consummated yes, thank deal. You, thank Have a nice time and enjoy yourself. I'll put the sticker in and you can drive away. Oh, um... Yes. Uh, well, there you are, Miss Goodman. You are all set. Any trouble at all, don't forget, you contact me and not the mechanic. Yes, of course. That... Oh, uh, could you tell me the quickest way to the Beverly Hilton? Beverly Hilton? Is, uh, is that where you're going to be staying, Miss Goodman? At the Beverly Hilton? Just asking. Just asking. This is a very good attache case in top grain cowhide. That's the one I want. Fine. The price is sixty-five dollars. Will that be cash or charge? Cash. I can have this monogram right away. Of course. May I have your name, please? Lawrence Martin. Little initial. 
just L M. So either we begin pouring concrete at eight o'clock Monday morning, or we're liable for penalty. Forty thousand dollars a day, gentlemen. The councilman's committee is public service, Lou. Your problems with the building code. Pouring delays have put us behind schedule at least a month. Now, 31 days at 40,000 per, that's a million and a quarter down the drain. Now, we went over the city charter. No attorneys, just Miss Connolly and myself. But we found something I think that uh, might interest you. Section 3, paragraph 7A. That's the section on condemnation procedure. You're not suggesting that 300 feet of public street be condemned. Now, according to the city charter, it's the council's duty to condemn. When it's in the public interest. Exactly. But how do you consider this the public interest? Mr. Murphy raises a very interesting point, worthy of consideration. Thank you very much, Mr. Councilman. That's all we ask. Can't tell you how much we appreciate you taking time off from a very busy schedule. That's what we're here for. Uh, can I buy you a drink before no, you leave? No, thanks. I don't believe so. Good day, Miss Conley. I have an appointment at the office. Say, did you hear the story about the Democrat and Republican went in the Turkish bath and the rubber had cold hands or paws that refreshes? <laughs> you think it's all set, Lou? Honey, if there's one thing that old hack knows is that he couldn't get elected dog catcher without San Angelo. Can't hardly find campaign contributions, all cash, undeclared, unrecorded anymore. That reminds me, what were those calls from Vince today? Some fishing expedition. He thinks the man from Rome is behind it. Colini? That's nothing. The way I put old Cool out, he'll stay out. But Vince never calls unless he's worried about something. He's getting old. They all are. Except you, you old goat. You're well named, the Angel of Mercy himself. Thank you, Mr. Murphy. That's the drunk said you don't eat the stems, they're the best part. <laughs> now, here's another sinner needing your help. Snatch a little salvation, my boy, while you can. You understand? Thank you. <laughs> What'll it be? I martini, please. Ah, uh, such small time for wee pleasures. The little ladies waiting in the station wagon. <laughs> Here you are, Peter. Get yourself a woman. Thank you, Mr. Murphy. Oh, thank you, my boy. Very nice. Are you married? No. <laughs> Play it smart, I don't know. <laughs> well, keep charging. <laughs> hey, hey, look. You... I'm sorry. <laughs> I gave you the wrong briefcase by mistake. You've got mine. Oh, no, 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 son. This is mine. You see, it's got my initials on it. L.M. Those are my initials, too. Yeah, well, that's coincidence, but I'm, I'm sure this is mine. I can tell you. Oh, no, you're wrong. I'm telling you. Look, let me open mine. I'll show you. Yeah, but you better hurry. See, I got. I don't want to miss that train. The little lady with the station wagon, the martinis will get hot in that. Oh! <laughs> Where are you? I'm at Idlewild now. I'm leaving in a few minutes. The car is a 1957 two-tone Ford convertible. It's parked on the roof level of the garage at the Hilton Hotel. Fine. What happened? Everything went all right. The camera and everything you need is on the front seat of the car. When you get here, will you come up? I'll come up if I have time. Johnny, what happened? You'll read about it.
be called away from Rome without time to invent appropriate excuse for Colini. My army commission, my whole position there could be ruined. Your position? Well, it's given you now so you could grow rich. You had a job. Tell us about Colini. How is he? How's an old man? He lives on his hill, like a retired Caesar. And every day has his vitamin and harmony injection to make him young. And every night there is a new girl. Never is the same one. And how about this young man he sent? What young man? I know nothing about any young man. We will see. Hines, please. I warn you, Mr. Hines. If you don't open that door and let me out of here this instant, I'll... You'll what? I don't think you quite realize whom you're dealing with, Mr. Hines. Oh, I think I do. Margaret Huntington, Santa Barbara, right? Quite right. I've got here four checks totaling $1,250. Signed, Margaret Huntington. And no good. <laughs> That's impossible. There must be some mistake. Yeah. It's for you, Mr. Hines. Hello, what is it? Where from? From Rome. From Johnny Collini. I've got to talk to you and Ben Morrow. Collini wants to make a deal. There's nothing to talk about. I think you're wrong. There's a lot to talk about. Like what happened to Louis Murphy? I'll get Ben. Uh, you come right up. Well, you better make it about 15 minutes. I'm calling from downtown. It'll take me that long to get to your joint. All right. Is someone coming up to see me in about 15 minutes. I don't know who it is, so check him good at the elevator. Yes, sir. I can make those checks good. Yes, I think you can. All right. I have some jewelry in my room. It's beautiful glass. And that Jaguar you've got parked out there is rented. I hate grifters. They live in your rooms, they eat your food, they buck your tables, and then they don't pay. Well, you're going to make those checks good. Thousand one hundreds, no fifties. Two thousand right and one hundreds. 
320s. Mr. Morrow, Mr. Hines would like to see you in the suite as soon as you can, please. Just a few minutes. Thanks, Pete. 300 is right in the 20s. Come on, Dice. Come on, Dice. That's it. I truth. I'm a born loser, and I know it, so I'm going home. Hold it, pal. I'm a winner, and I'm popping for a couple of belts. I'll never say no to that. And look at these two chicks. We're not gonna let them go to waste. How about a couple of drinks? Well, that sounds like a pretty good idea. Well, I want you to no roll. You sit right over here, and you sit right over here. I'll take the blonde. The brunette reminds me of my wife. All right, what'll it be? Hi, Ben. Mike Singer, remember? Yeah, yeah, sure, Mike. How are the you? The old days in Detroit. Yeah, yeah. How's it going? Well, not so good. You know, no, no, Ben. This is no touch. I just wanted to say hello. Yeah, I understand. I appreciate it. Forget it. I'll see you. Thanks, Ben. That's one of the sweetest guys you ever want to meet. You know, the bum is right. They don't make them like Ben Morrow anymore. I'll be back before you finish these. And hurry, I left my money at the crap table. Are you the gentleman who come to see Mr. Hines? That's me. There's a special pocket on the inside of my jacket on the left-hand side. Permit's in my wallet. I'm sorry, we'll have to keep this anyway. You can pick it up at the desk on the way out. Anything you say. Can I go in now? Yes, Mr. Hines is expecting you. Checked him out and he's okay. Thank you, Pete. <laughs> Don't you trust your own security men? They just went over me outside. Obi, please. We just want to talk. Go ahead, talk. Not this way. Stand still, you. There's no need for trouble. Let's find out who this gentleman is. Then, if necessary, we can call the police. What's your name, boy? Johnny Collini. You hear that, Ben? This is the one we got the call about. The new Johnny Cool. Why are you here? What do you want? What you took from Collini. What we took? Stand aside, Ben. All right. I'll give it to you for him. Both barrels right in the belly. Obi, no! no. I've tried to live in such a way that no man could have reason to hate me. I know. I've heard all about what a saint you are. No, I've done plenty wrong. But I've tried to make up for it. How do you make up for informing? So that's it. Vendetta. He told you I betrayed him so I could steal. Collini lied. Bujardo. You lie. Johnny Cool. He gave you his name. Did he also tell you you would be his son? Me, he told I would be his brother. But in the 20 years, all he did was use me. Like he's using you now. You were only his delivery boy. Domestico messaggero di morte. And when you have finished killing for him, he will pay you as he is paying me now. I won't be alive to pay off, but I'll lay you even money, I'm right. And I'll give you a price on how long before he gets you. Six to five, three days. <laughs> Hi, we all set to leave? Any minute, Spot. What you do? I got some wonderful pictures. Uh, do you win any money? I don't gamble. That's against my religion. Oh, I wish it was against mine. I wouldn't have to push this bus. <laughs> Get me out of the line. Hi.
I could buy this bus. Boy, I murdered him here. How did you do? I did all right. Hold it, Larry, hold it. Hey, what's wrong? I got my usual line of chickens here. Uh, somebody really rocked the town. Yeah? Yeah, got Obi Hines and Ben Morrow. Uh, well, you gotta go, you gotta go. Yeah, well, I'll have to check out your people. Are you kidding? Larry, those are my orders. Now, don't kibitz. We're not playing poker. I'm not kibitzing. Get it all that line. I'm used to farmers and hazies, but these guys take the cake. Get a load of Charlie Cameron over there. He don't gamble. He's got religion. Frisk him. Maybe he'll come up with a Bible. And while you're at it, search that Indian. Uh, well, I'm very sorry, folks, for this unnecessary delay. But you, is that a Nikon? It's something like it, except for the rangefinder. We know it looks just like a Nikon. Everybody's imitating everybody. You, you're too good to be true. Come here. Wait a minute. Never wait mind, a minute. Oh, cowboy. I want to talk mistake. to you. Now, just come along. Let me now, don't give me any wait trouble. Larry, take the rest of the good people home. They all look a little bush. Yeah, we're tired. Oh, wait a minute. Please, would you wait, get wait, in wait, there, wait, please? Wait. How you been? Now, those things happen. You can't help it. You know, how you kids? You're looking great. Yes, I How you laugh? Yeah. Oh, Pop, you're fine. You're good. You're you great shape. Yeah. You, 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 you got hump bum. We, we go bump again this out here. Yeah, that's it. Yeah? Okay? Mm -hmm. No such? Everybody all set? All right. Here we go. Uh, 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 uh. No, don't leave me. Don't leave me. No. Don't leave me alone. No. Don't leave me alone. All right. All right. All right. It's Zoltano. Zoltano. It, it's Zoltano. I dreamed they killed you. Listen to me. When I saw you down there last night and you didn't come up, I died. All night, waiting. I didn't know I could even think such things. Johnny, it doesn't matter what you do. Nothing's real anymore except you. Do you understand? What is it? What's the matter? I've got to go away. I'll get dressed. It won't take me a minute. No, I'm going alone. Where? Mexico. Then back to Sicily. Johnny, you didn't hear me. You can't leave me. I'm nothing without you. We are both nothing. Tell me what happened. Tell me! Domestico, messaggero di morte. Less than nothing. That's what he called me when I killed him. What does it mean? Collini's the livery boy of death. Oh, it doesn't matter what he said. You should have seen what he looked like when he died. I believe him. Colini lied. He used me. All he wanted was for me to do for him what he couldn't do for himself. Johnny, you have to take me with you. I was your Thano. I go back to Sicily. In Sicily, Giordano is dead. Running there is not going to bring him back to life. Here, be Giordano here. What the hell do you know about anything? Intelligence is not confined to men. Three days ago, my life was concerned with getting to the beauty parlor on time. Getting my laundry ready for the cleaners. Making my mind up about a new shade of lipstick. Well, there was something hidden deep in me that I didn't even know existed. Whatever it was, you read it. And now my life is yours. And I'm telling you, Giordano, that you've got to finish what you started. Not for the man in Rome, but for yourself. Johnny Cool is a name. Giordano was a man. Be Giordano again. Do what he would do. Why not? Why not? Johnny, I need you. I need you right now.
Giordano will find. But there'll always be another Giordano. Different face, a different name, huh? The only way to make sure that a thing ends is to dispose of the principal. That's impossible. I was in Rome last year. Colini's villa is like Fort Knox. Anything can be done. Three men are dead. And the decision is very, very clear. The man in Rome dies, or we die. All right. Let Cleeti be one. He knows the rule. Let's see if he takes the warning. Hola, uh, Anglesi. Capisco un po'. Do you know what it means to be very rich? Tu sei rico? Mm -hmm. Bene. Molto rico. Signor Colini la chiamano al telefono da New York. Chi? È il signor Sant'Angelo. Hello, Vince. How are you? How's the family? Hey, Johnny, I haven't got too much time to talk to you. I gotta get out to Vegas. Tomorrow on Hines, you know. Yeah, I know. You heard about poor Lewis? I, I can't understand what's happening there. Ben didn't have an enemy in the world. Well, that young man from Sicily. You know, the one who's dead. Well, Johnny, he's here. And he says that you sent him. Me? No. We thought that you could tell us uh, what the young man wanted, Johnny. <laughs> oh, Vince. I'm here. How would I know? We're meeting, Johnny. And uh, we've decided that this can't go on. Of course, Vince, I agree. Do what you have to right away. You understand we had to check with you first. I understand everything you're not saying, Vince. By the way, Vince, I give my best to Virgo, huh? Yeah. You heard him? Now are you sure? First, Giordano. I checked a suitcase a couple of months ago in a hotel in Coenga. We'll have to pick it up. Johnny, about the car. You know I had to use my own license to rent it. I told you it doesn't matter. We'll be back in New York when it happens. The FBI's been checking, but so far that's all we know. What you see is a group of interlocking corporations. Garment manufacturing, construction, oil, soft drink distribution, vending machines, import-export, and metal processing. The Attorney General's office has been watching this complex grow since the end of World War II, but so far that's all we've been able to do. Watch. The corporate and tax structure is a model of legitimacy. But now, with these murders, Lewis Murphy in New York, Oscar B. Hines, and Benjamin Morrow here in Las Vegas is the break we've been waiting for. It means, gentlemen, the war's broken out. A war for the control of syndicate-dominated legitimate business. And the general directing the attack is the one we want. He goes by the interesting and familiar name of Johnny Collini or Johnny Cool. Well, the individual described, we find no fingerprints on file, no draft registration, no record of previous military service, no record of arrests, no hunting, fishing, driver's license issued ever, no social security number. Maybe there's no such man. There is, and he's not alone. Well, that's all we have, gentlemen. Not a hell of a lot, but we've got to find Johnny Cool. You drive. Why upside down? The dynamite in the suitcase would take out half the block if opened right side up by the wrong person. Three o'clock now. Fourteen hours will make it. Five in the morning. When it goes off, we'll be in New York having an eight o'clock breakfast at Rubens. What's he like, Johnny? Among other things, he's in the oil business. That's all I know. Have you ever seen him? We got two miles to go to Sunset. I'll tell you when to turn. What's his name? What difference does it make? Crandall, Leonard Crandall, okay? Why did you try telling the truth just once? You know you came out because you thought I wasn't home. Len. I swear to you, all I wanted was to see the children for a half an hour. But you have no visiting privileges, except those the court designated. Oh, Len, please. Now, look, you were supposed to have them all of August. Now, it's not my fault you were in Madrid. But incidentally, uh, how'd the picture go? There was no picture, you know that. Well, that's too bad. 
However, that's show business, as you people say. Oh, is that what it is? Don't you think I know all about your oil interests over there? Man, I want my children. Well, they're mine, too. Why do I presume too much? Man, they need their mother. Unfortunately, the court decided that their mother was unfit. Yes, you arranged that very nicely, didn't you? Yes, I did, didn't I? Mr. Crandall, I was... It's all right, Miss Stewart. Well, you can sleep yourselves, boys. She isn't here. Come on, boys. You'd better take your naps now. That's quite all right, Miss Stewart. Say, instead of a nap, boys, why don't we take a swim? We'll go in the bathhouse and get your suits. Come on. Hey, boys, I'll go in the garage and get the boat, okay? So tense. We're just tourists looking at the view. Over there, Beverly Hills, home of the movie stars. And I'll plant it right down there so that the cliff holds a blast in. Tomorrow they'll hear it clear back in that penthouse in New York. What if somebody sees you? They won't. Johnny, is that him? Come on. No, Johnny, not now. No, is sure. Later is maybe. Drive up the canyon about 100 yards. Make a U-turn and come right back down to here. Keep the motor running and leave it in drive. Get in. Get in. That's good. Now just keep on like this until we get them all hollering. I'll get out there. You... Watch the road. Now listen, I'll get a cab in front of the hotel. You drive them to Beverly Hills and park the car for a few hours. Where will I go? What will I do? Go shopping. Get your hair done. Don't bring the car back till after 5 o'clock. Check out of the hotel and take a cab to the airport. Buy a ticket on the first flight to New York. Johnny, Check... please let me go with you. I'm afraid to be alone. I'll meet you at the real Tony's tomorrow, 7 o'clock. Please, Johnny. Pull over and stop. Not here at the corner. I'm sorry, Johnny. It's all right. Tomorrow night, 7 o'clock, the real Tony's.
wouldn't work out if you want a manicure. Well, that'd be perfect. Okay. All right, Miss Johnson. Thank you. Yes, may I help you? Uh, yes, please. My hair shampoo and set. Oh, the name, please. You do have an appointment. Uh, no. Oh, well, the earliest we could take you would be. Oh, well, no, no. It's not important. Thank you. Thank you very Hold much. On. Dare. Dare Guinness. Susie. Well, this is marvelous. When did you get into town? No one said anything about your coming. Is anything the matter? Uh, no, uh, just tired, I guess. I just got in this morning. Hey, that makes it perfect. You can drive back down to Newport with me this afternoon. Well, it all sounds wonderful, but I can't. Oh, why not? Bill's got the boat down there. The whole crowd's gonna come down for the weekend. Tess and Rory and the Burfords. Can't you postpone whatever it is you can come down? I told you, Susie, it's impossible. I can't. Okay. We'll be back in town on Monday. Will you call? Yes. Would you like me to make an appointment? Uh, no. No. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Bye-bye, Susie. Bye, dear. The same time next week? Can I give you a lift? You still want me to go? To Newport? Yeah. Oh. Bill will be so surprised. Come on, my car's right down here. I have a confirmed reservation to New York on flight 818. The name is Johnson. It's in Will Call. Oh, here we are, Mr. Johnson. Thank you. They're boarding at Area 75. You better hurry. Thank you. I'll phone and tell them you're on your way. I've been thinking about you. Dee boom, dee boom, dee boom. Something swinging about you. Dee boom, dee boom, dee boom. I'd like to fly away with you. Ooh, dee boom. Sweet talking all the way with you. Dee boom, dee boom, dee boom. Now you've got lips as sweet as honey, and I know what to do. Knock me down and take my money If I never get to kissing you well, She sure isn't feeling any pain Did she tell you anything? Not a word oh. There, honey, it's time to twist with me oh, Well, you play it again and I will Oh, 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 oh watch it a most attractive man over there has just asked me to dance, and I just may oblige as soon as he recharges the record. <laughs> well, now, don't you think we should sit and talk? We haven't a chance to... <laughs> oh, Billy boy, Billy boy, charming. Billy, I've got nothing to say, except being here with you has saved my life, and that's the truth, believe it or not. <laughs> Come on, honey, let's twist. I'm gone. Yeah. Yeah. Got a rented 1961 gray Ford convertible that answers the description on the want urgent. Under the front seat, I found, uh, I don't know exactly how to describe it, but it looks like some kind of explosive device. The building public relations man hadn't already okayed this. I couldn't go for it. How long are you going to be up there? I don't know. It depends on the light. Well, if you could wait till tomorrow morning, I'd have a man free. He could go up with you. I wish I could, but I got a deadline. You have to sign this release. This clears the building of responsibility in case of accident. Say, would I be disturbing anyone? Oh, no. No, the windows are all sealed. The offices are completely soundproof. Good. Can I take a freight elevator up? Sure. Thank you.
Scout. He said he would. He said? What is he, a Boy Scout? Always keeps his word? This one is Potso. But he's done everything he said, Vince. He was at the bank, right on the minute. One day. One man who walked in the sight of a thousand people. He's dead. Two men who waited to kill this Johnny Cool. They're dead. And another man died in the privacy of a swimming pool. What are you doing me in here? Age 27, height 5 feet 6, weight 117. Color of the hair is light brown, color of eyes blue. The description is from the New York driver's license issued in the name of Derek Guinness. Spelling on that is D-A-R-E-G-U-I-N-E-S-S. No more 24-hour waiting periods. The time for you to choose is right now. Either you act with sense, or wherever you go, wherever you hide, my people will find each one of you. Like they found Murphy, Hines, Murrow, Crandall, Sant'Angelo. Tell us, what do you want of us? What's mine, what I've taken. But you are Collini's men. If we let you keep for yourself what he sent you to get for him, there will never be peace as long as he lives. With one phone call, he dies. Tomorrow, when the great Collini gets his usual injection of hormones, there will be a bubble of air in the needle. And when that bubble reaches his heart, he will die peacefully, quietly. <laughs> Anybody out here? Ooh, it's alive. Oh, well, just barely. <laughs> Look here, have this. Bill made it this morning for everybody. Guaranteed to bring you back among the living. Yeah, sure it is. That's a rather fetching outfit. I'll get you some clothes. Susie. Was I awful last night? No, it's good for you to unwind. What did I say? Nothing, darling. Be patient with me, huh, baby? You're the first sane people I've been with in... Oh my God, can it only be three days? Dare, we don't want to pry, but if you're in any kind of trouble, please let us help you. 
pair of shorts be okay? Isn't it terrible? You wonder what kind of a person could do a thing like that. Sick. It's a miracle those little boys weren't killed. What little boys? These little boys right here. I didn't see any little... wrong. Insane, isn't it? Dear Guinness. Susie? Do, do you have any idea what goes on out there? Well, you couldn't. Underworld. I always thought it was a word for the movies. Well, it's not. It exists. Right out there, just below what you can see. A whole world full of monsters. Dear, I don't know what you're talking about. I met a man. Three days ago. I was with him. Ten hours, maybe. I had just left him after he killed Crandall. When I ran into you yesterday. I drove him up the hill with the dynamite. And now the police have the car. I'm gonna get Bill. No! Bill will know what to do. Maybe. If it weren't for him. There's nothing anyone can do. When he wants to, he'll find me. Not that I really want him to. It's just that I know that if he walked through that door right now, I'd want him so badly, I'd crawl to him. I'm gonna get Bill. Operator? Yes. I'd like to call New York. Long distance. Person to person to Mr. Lewis Murphy. Yes, I... I know Mr. Murphy is deceased. To whom am I speaking? This is Miss Conley. I was Mr. Murphy's personal secretary. All right. If you want the man who killed him... He'll be in a restaurant called The Real Tony's at 7 o'clock tomorrow night. The Real Tony? And tell them he'll be alone. Who is this? Please. He's always been alone. Please, who is this? Hello? Wait for me. Good evening, Mr. Cool. Good evening, Mr. Cool. The young lady is waiting in a bag. Thank you. Put some champagne on ice. The best you've got. For this, you'll die, every one of you. In 24 hours, my men will kill you. 
You have no men, Shodana. You are alone. I have an army out there! Yes, an army of ghosts. We know, the same way we knew where to find you. Your woman told us. You will not die. He has special plans for you. I'm the only one left who knows it all. Without me, you can do nothing. True. But you will tell us. I will tell you nothing. I'm Giordano. You will tell us. It will take time. But there is a way even for Giordano. Poor Virgo. A city man. Weak. But you're strong. I will tell you nothing. We'll lock you up here in the morgue without food or water. And we'll beat you hard day after day. And when you're hungry enough to eat even goat droppings, we'll give you salt fish. When you're met with thirst, we will give you wine. Sweet wine. A drop of wine for each word of truth. And then you will tell us. And then you will join the living dead. police car just drove up. Now we know what we're going to say. You've been with us for the past four days. Now let me do all the talking. Drink up, drink up. Yes, sir? Mr. Blakesley? That's right. What can I do for you? I'd like to see a Dare Guinness. Miss Guinness is aboard? Why? What's this all about? Well, it seems she rented a car yesterday. And... Oh, yes, she told me about that. Well, you see, she met my wife in the beauty parlor in Beverly Hills, and they came right down here, and she left the car parked at the beauty parlor. It must have seven tickets on it by now. <laughs> well, it seems that car was involved in the killing of Leonard Crandall yesterday in Beverly Hills. Oh, well, that's terrible. It must have been stolen. Probably. But I would like to talk to Miss Guinness about a certain Johnny Collini or Johnny Cool. Johnny Collini. No, I... Bill. It's no use, Bill. The man you're looking for, he's dead. I killed him. I think you'd better come with us. We'll wait while you change your clothes. No. Let's go now. One day they caught up with Johnny Cool Just like they promised they would They left real fear of death in him And some breath in him They beat him till he understood he paid for his evil ways, but good. And so ends the story of a fool. The fool that was known as Johnny Coo. 